I actually became an astronaut because I applied to an advert in the newspaper. The European Space Agency was looking for astronauts to fly at that time in the Columbus and the Hermes uh, program. So I saw this advert and uh, I applied. Uh, of course, you have to have some credentials. I was a military pilot, a test pilot, an engineer. So for sure this has helped me. But uh, the initial reaction was replying to an advert in a newspaper. As an astronaut, first of all, you have to be in good medical health, of course. The training is long. Uh, the flight on board of the International Space Station is about six months. Uh, so to reside in a confined environment for six months, you have to be in good health. This is one. Secondly, you have to have technical skills uh, because most of the work that we do also on board of the International Space Station is technically or scientifically oriented. This is why we hire scientists, engineers or medical doctors. Thirdly, of course, you need to be psychologically very well adapted to this uh, work. You will live in a confined environment for six months with crewmates that come from different cultures, from different environments. And of course, you have to be very well adapted to be able to work in such a stressful situation in this confined environment for six months. And this is actually one of the biggest things that we are looking for today in our astronauts, is that they can work together with international partners from across the globe uh, in a very good uh, spirit. When you look through the window, you see that our atmosphere is basically a very, very thin layer that protects us and that gives life. So we are a very, very vulnerable planet in an immense universe. And this is something that uh, when you have flown to space, will stay with you forever.